As you drive down the valve cover bolts, the gasket will begin to compress, and this needs to happen as evenly as possible, not just during the actual torque sequence, which is kind of easy to remember if we break it up into segments, and since the order has an opposing pattern. Let's break it up into five segments, from the perspective of the left fender, front, back, top, middle, or well section, and bottom. All bolts are E10s, and with the exception to number 20, all of them get 8.5 newton meters, with the first bolt at the bottom front corner. 2 is the top rear, 3 is above well 5, 4 above well 2, 5 below well 4, 6 below well 2, 7 above well 4, 8 above well 3, 9 below well 6, 10 just above number 9, 11 above well 1, 12 is below 11. 13 is the top center with 14 to the right of it. 15 is straight down to the bottom, then 16 on the left of 15. Followed straight up to 17 at the top, then 18 to the right of the diaphragm cover. 19 is towards the front bottom corner next to number 1. And 20 is the problem child that requires the quarter inch E10 and wobble extension. And I also went up to 9 newton meters to account for the wobble. Going back down to 8.5 newton meters, 21 is the leftmost top bolt, while 22 is the rightmost on top. 23 is the top front, with 24 and 25 just below. And of course, 26 at the middle rear. 